Hey, what's happening? Raz here on Nelio Gaming. In this video, we're going to be checking out where the heart leads on PlayStation 5. We're jumping right in. The art style has me very interested. of a storm. Oh, that sounded so real. Uh-oh. boy. Alright, we got one tree down. Renee, stay girl. Casey. Okay, so let's see. Renee is the mother, maybe? Uh-oh. Shaking again. Uh, mom? Oh no, Casey! Wait, hurry! Weird dream. What was that sound? Wait, kids! What's going on? Why is everyone freaking? Oh no. Okay, we're controlling dad. Oh wow, this is... This is interesting. I really like how this looks. The sound is so... real. What the hell is that? Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's a sinkhole. Casey? Casey, here, girl. Kids are calling for the dog. Stay away from the edge. Dad, I can hear her. There she is. Okay. Um, I saw something real quick, though. Hold on, kids. Don't be going down there. Kids, not so close. Can I turn the camera? A little bit. I was able to turn... Yeah, okay, so you can turn... Okay, the water... The water tank fell. This house fell. Bathtub. There was the motor hanging from the tree house, okay. Okay, we got... Alright. Hand camera. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Poor dog. Can we control the dog? Um, come out, pan camera, okay, close. Let's see. How the hell did she get down there? That dog. Casey's family. Casey is trouble. Casey is family. Casey's our girl. We can't let her down. Enable auto text. R2. Okay. The winch is still attached to the tree. And the bathtub is still is still here. Okay. I think I know what to do. But it'll be dangerous. Go it alone. Talk to Renee. Talk to Renee. We're all in this together. I gotta make sure they're on board. My wife. Plus my wife. Okay. So... The tree knocked out the telephone pole. What are we going to do? Renee, I, I have a plan. I think you're not going to like it. Not like it. Or hate it. If I can swing that winch over the bathtub, maybe we'll... 
be able to push it over the side and and ride it down yes you're right i hate that plan <laughs> honey we can do this together like always whitney please you could you could i know but if we don't do something casey's lost and you know it i don't see another way but it's your call i okay okay i'm in i need a second to think can you check on the kids yes of course You know, this might be trickier than I thought. All right. So let's see here. Check on Casey. Okay, zoom in, zoom out. Casey's fine. All right, we're just we're chilling down there on the ledge. So you stay there. Okay. She seems okay for now at least. All right, so. All right, it looks solid, but it might be slippery as hell. Let's enable the auto attacks for a minute. Enable auto attacks, okay. Looks solid, but it might be, okay. Renee, you ready? Let's just get this over with. Oh, I almost just walked into there. Um, I think, let's go talk to the kids real quick. This is crazy. Daddy? How do I talk to the kids? There we go. Is Casey going to die, Daddy? Shut up. Don't even talk like that. Dad, you can save her, right? Can you, Dad? Make a promise. Be realistic. Be realistic. I'm going to try and get Casey, but I won't lie. What I'm going... What I'm doing is dangerous, and I don't know what's going to happen, but whatever happens, just remember that me and Mommy love you, okay? Um, okay. Chin up. I'll go get her. You can do it. Thanks, son. This is interesting right away. I like it. Okay. Wit. Okay. Let's hurry. Yeah, let's go for it. in a little bit. Alex's game? What was that? <laughs> Made it. Release engine. I better throw this hard. Toss winch. I need to make it all the way over to the tub. Got it. Nice throw. All right, here goes nothing. Let's give this a try. Fingers crossed. Push tub, it's pretty heavy, but we can do it. Push tub. Make it quick, I don't like the look of this storm. Reassure Renee, be vulnerable, show bravado, reassure. Trust me, I've got this. You, you saying that for my benefit or for yours both definitely both I'll be right back I'm holding you to that all right let's go I'll get her get in there Renee, I... It's okay, honey. I know. Hurry back. Move bathtub. Poor girl. She must be terrified. How do I get her over here? She'll have to jump. 
It's okay, girl. We're not taking a bath. <laughs> We're not taking a bath or anything. Come on. You can make it. Call Casey. Hopefully she'll listen. Come here. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. I've got you. Jeez. What? That was close. Yeah, just a little shaken. Wait, you, you gotta get her fast. Come on. Son of a... I need to decide what to do quickly. Keep trying. Find another way. I'm not letting Casey go, no matter what. This is too dangerous. There's no way. I've got to get her out of here. Atta girl. Come on, Case. Yes. Oh, no. Wait. The winch slipped. Dad. Can you make it up? Can you make it back up? Dad, are you okay? It's okay. I see what you mean about hating this plan. Ren Renee, you might have had a point. Two things. One, you're not funny. Two, I have a backup plan. You can thank me later. Okay, okay. The tub is too heavy. I don't think I can risk pulling it up. Just hold on. It's alright, Casey. Wit. I'm gonna lower the apple basket. Put Casey in it, and we'll pull her up. Oh, hurry, please. You know what? We probably should have done the ba apple basket from the beginning. Come on, girl. Te tease, Casey. Calm, Casey. Tease. Good girl. Good girl. Bronze PlayStation trophy. It's got bows on it. I love it. That's good girl. You're doing just fine, Casey. Good girl. Yes, that's you. You see that basket? I'm going to put you in it. And you'll go, okay? You go up, okay? Easy peasy. I'll be right behind you. Uh, I don't know. Dad might... Dad might get lost here. Squeeze Casey in the basket to relieve weight from the tub. She's in, Renee. Pull her up. You got it, guys. Keep going. It's okay, Casey. Just look at Mama. Why wouldn't he... Maybe he doesn't have a knife on him. I was going to say maybe he should grab the rope and let go of the tub. You know what I mean? Yep, she's right there. My turn, I hope. Move the bathtub. This is not going to go good, I know it. This is not going to go good. Wit? This is not good at all. Uh, jammed in the pulley. Oh god, this tree is cracking. Oh my god, I knew he was going to go. I knew it. I knew it. Renee! Where the heart leads. That's an intro. I totally dig it. That is a heck of an intro. Oh, wow. He is going for a ride. Oh, that is one heck of a sinkhole. Oh my gosh. He keeps going and going. Well, there ain't no getting up now. I mean, he's gonna fall so far down, he's gonna end up in China. I don't even know what's going on right now. Is this a loading screen or what? Oh, 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 oh! Wow, that was a heck of a fall. Jesus. 
Free Fallen. Gold PlayStation trophy. Oh my god, it held. I'm alive. How? How did it hold? How long is that rope? He's not alive. Maybe I can still pull myself out. There's no way he's alive. He's like in heaven or something. Move that tub. Yeah, there's no way. That we would be pulling forever. Oh, I hear the dog. What the heck? I do hear the dog. How do I get out? Exit. Move bathtub. Exit. There we go. There we go. This is cool. Oh, there goes the bathtub. Okay, good thing we didn't keep trying to go up. Um, great, well, can't get worse, I guess. I really am on my own, though. Only lifeline was a damn da- bet <laughs> Only lifeline was a, a damn bathtub on a winch. Uh, okay. Need to focus. Look around for another way out. I hear the dog. Call out. What the hell is this cave doing down here anyway? Hey, there's a paper. I don't care. I'm just lucky to be alive. I don't think you're alive, bud. Renee! Kids! Renee, kids! I can hear Casey barking it. At least she's safe. This is futile, though. Too much echo or I've fallen far. Oh. Read. A note on stationery. Hey, this is a note from Renee. Wait, can you hear us? I'm trying to keep things together up here, but the kids are beside themselves and we're all worried about you. If you can read this, we're safe up here, and I think the tremors have stopped. Casey's okay. We managed to pull her up, but she's been barking nonstop. We're doing everything we can to reach you. Please hang on and come back to us. We love you. They're safe. God. I already tried yelling to no avail. I have to get back to them some way. Plus, our dog. So it's like positive and negative points, it seems. Like positive action, negative actions. What did I got? What have I got? There's a small opening here. I think I can fit. Go in. Don't go in right away. Can't see what's beyond the gap. Do I really want to go into a scary hole just to go in another? Probably not. Alright, let's look around first. I can't make that jump. Okay. He sounds close, doesn't he? The dog sounds like really close. There's a small opening here. I think I can fit. Okay, let's go. Go in. No other options. I hope this is an exit. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Stay where you are. Crawl back out. Stay where you are. This is a bit better. Maybe I can find a path. Tremors have not stopped down here. Damn it. As if being lost wasn't bad enough, I have to worry about cavens too. A photo of us. I feel like he's dead. I don't know why. I mean, that's a really awful thing to say and like a bad thought, but I just feel like that's going to be a big aha moment in the story or something. Like, 
Maybe at the end, or I don't know. It's yeah, like I feel like he's dead. These are all memories or something. A washing machine. These are in pretty good shape for being underground. How'd they end up down here? Lint. This is a Willmore. <laughs> is it a Whirlpool? They have a 20 year warranty on them or something crazy like that. Top of the line. That's <laughs> uh, that just goes to show like what kind of person he is. He's a mechanic. He fixes things. That's awesome. Look at... Is that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I pressed triangle. We took this picture around, I want to say, a year ago. Good day with Renee and the kids. Casey was chasing squirrels while we played. We don't have a lot, but we have our time together. Summer 86, August, right before school starts. Our dog, Casey. It's a good dog. It's a good little doggy, woggy, woggy, doggy. Sorry. Um, the Andersons. Don't wake ducky? For Oh, it's a game. Plus nine. Don't wake Ducky. It took a long time for me to learn how to collaborate with Renee. Both of us have an independent streak and strong ideas about how things should be done. It was especially hard when we were in school together. One thing our marriage has taught me, though, is that things turn out better when we work as a team. The plan in my head is bonkers, even for me. Renee will help me bring it back down to earth. It's Casey's best chance of making it out of, out of this alive. That's just a memory. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Alex's game manual. Don't wake Ducky. This is one of Alex's board games. He must have left it out here. It says press release March 12th, 1978. Brand new from our studios in Burbank, California. Come an exciting adventure game for the whole family. Don't wake Ducky. <laughs> Be above board. Be fair to your par partners. Be positive in your movements. Who will flinch first in this high stakes game of morale reason? But most of all, be mindful of Ducky. You wouldn't want to wake him for fun for old and young alike. Age range 5 to 12. Recommended plus 9. Confusing? Yes. Downright addictive? Yes. Another fine product from No Look No See. The game makers who brought you hits like Cinnamon Daddy. <laughs> Areola. What? Oh my god. The Jerk. Fine in laws. And 70 plus hit baby. I'm right. I'm alright. I swear these games are getting weirder all the time. Looks like the instructions are missing. <laughs> so silly. Don't wake Ducky. What a name. Where did all this come from? Maybe our neighbors. How long has it been down here? Maybe our neighbors. Oh, I thought that might be sunlight. However, this building got here. The cavern must have collapsed in behind it. Yeah, something's just not right. This looks like a... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's what. This is all weird. This is all strange. There has to be a way back up. If all this crap fell. Uh-oh. 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 Don't. Not again. If I'm not careful, I'm going to get buried down here. What was I thinking? We could have waited for the cops or the fire department. How do I get out of here? What would Renee do? She'd take a deep breath, take stock of her situation, and keep going no matter what. Thoughts about Renee? I should do the same. Although, now I am going down. Something is totally off. It just ends. Nowhere to go. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Alone in this cave. 
not a hero. Just a dumb. At least it's pretty. All these flowers to keep me company. Wait, flowers down here. They remind me of dad. Memory time. Yep. Dad spent so much time at his greenhouse crossbreeding flowers. Mom always used to say that was dad's refuge. That's the problem I see with uh, auto <sighs> auto conversations is disable auto text. Yeah, because I miss some of it. Okay, Aldwin. And then we have to put a bag over the flower to make sure no other pollens get in here. Very careful now, just like this. You paying attention, kiddo? Bag flower, sure. And why do we bag the flower? Wait, uh, the bag. Wait, glad you're here. I thought I had company, but I was... It, <laughs> I got... Blah, 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 something about your brother. It's not my fault. You picked the most... Watch the sass, boy. What did I tell you? Hey, wait. Let's go to the creek. Mom said the levels are pretty high. I bet we could raft all the way down to Renee's house. But it'd be a real help if you'd help me finish up with these crossbreeds. Come on, flowers are boring. Go play with... Oh, man. Go play. Stay and help Dad. Jeez, if I stay and help Dad, brother's probably gonna drown. <laughs> Um. Jeez, decisions, decisions. If I stay and help Dad, Dad can manage on his own. He's a big boy. Go play. Yeah, let's go to the creek. Race you, last one there is a rotten egg. Wait, son. Dad, I'm gonna lose the race. I gotta go. You don't always have to do what your brother wants you to do. He's probably going to get you into trouble. We're just going to have a little fun, Dad. Jeez. Wait, sometimes the things that seem the most fun are the things that hurt you the most. That doesn't make any sense. What's a slowpoke? What's a slowpoke? I'm coming. Wait up. Dad was always that way, trying to parent us by dropping these nuggets of so-called wisdom. I don't always tell them what they want to hear, but at least I'm direct about it. This flower is called a stargazer. Dad used to win prizes for these. Stargazer Lily. I remember these. They're called Yarrow. I'm allergic to them. Found that out the hard way once. Always handled them with gloves after that. They're one of Renee's favorites. The things I do for love. I think that's what he said. I don't know. Time ran out, so. It's a rain lily. After a storm, Dad's garden was filled with them. They don't last long, though. A brief bloom, and before you know it, they're gone again. Renee's song. Alright, I think that's everything. Oh, I just heard... Sounds like there's one more. Sounds like there's one more. Where could it be? Sounds like it's on the left. Nope. I guess that's it. What over here, dummy? Seg? Or S Sega? Sega! <laughs> Sieg? Siege? Whoa, this looks risky. Come on, doofus. Come on, doofus. Doofus, he hasn't called me that since we were kids. It's because he's not really there. Oh my gosh, dummy, I told you to watch out over there. You didn't say it was that steep. You didn't give me a chance. Well, you're a jerk. At least I'm not stuck in a cave. You want me to help you out? I promise I won't tell anyone what happened. Figure it out on your own. Accept, accept help, yes. 
Okay, fine. What do I do? I threw down my headlamp. Pick it up. You threw it? Are you sure you didn't break it? Nah, it'll be fine. I'm sure it's down there somewhere. Go get it. Then follow my voice and I'll guide you out. Okay. That's it. Hold on. Let's see if there's a lamp down here. Headlamp anywhere? There it is. Doesn't look broken. If this works, at least I'll be able to see where I'm going. Pick up headlamp. All right. It does. I can turn even brighter. That's a lot better. This game's awesome. Really, really good dialogue. Like, superb storytelling so far. Yes, I used the word superb. I don't think I've used that in years. Jeez. That is a strange word, and I can't believe I used it. Superb. That's a good one. Stupendous. Superb. Extraordinary. That's it. Follow me. Let's go. Where to now? Up here. Come on. I feel like there's places to explore. And I'm missing them. I don't want to miss any collectibles. Right? Doesn't that look like a path up there? That I just missed? That's it. Keep skipping me forward, so I don't think that I'm missing anything. I hope Dad's not around. He's going to be mad. Toy headlamp is gone? Oh. I remember Dad was just glad we were safe and surprisingly... Sig? I don't know. He has my back. In his own way. He's done some really stupid stuff with his life, but he's always been there. I missed that last one. It's strange to think about all the little choices that's got me here. It's a horse. Look at the giant horse head. Carthage. Animal welfare. That's a spider. There's a bunch of spiders right on the ground right there in front of me, right? Or is it a leaf? It's a leaf. I thought it was a spider. Building a career. Key to the... Key to what? The back game? What was that? What was that last one? Tags helping hand. Sophia, my husband and I appreciate your help picking out an arrangement for the anniversary bouquet. Truly, Carthage would not be as beautiful a place without your and Aldwin's contributions to local horticulture. And I'm sure someone like yourself holds the importance and sanctity of keeping one's land in order as close to his heart as I do. For this reason, I hope to entreat you to teach that lesson to your sons. Hubert was on the edge of the farm two days ago, picking the squash from the summer harvest, and he noticed something we've both come to recognize as normal. A handful of stakes pulled up around the corner of the property line. Boot prints and boot prints and boot prints and other disturbances in the soil. At least a good dozen of our yellow crookneck plants are uprooted and despoiled 
of their bounty. Before you imagine a number of object objections to pinpointing your sons as the cause of this disaster, you should know the following. There were also obvious tracks leading off into your property from the scene of the crime, and your eldest took the opportunity to mark the fence with an admission of guilt in the form of giant letters pro <laughs> proclaiming Sege was here, carved into the corner of a corner fence post a criminal mastermind he is not i know it must be difficult with aldwin always buried in one project or another but you need to do something about those two hellions you call children before they get into real trouble we intend to go straight to the sheriff carlton if we catch them on our property again and we're getting a german shepherd also so that you are aware mrs hollyworth moved her event to thursday evening from tuesday citing an unexpected personal obligation we look forward to seeing you there sincerely yours henrietta marston henrietta is that john marston's cousin i don't know everything always comes back around the redhead redemption <laughs> uh what if i've done what if I had done things differently. Would I still be here now? Good question. This gate was on the edge of Dad's property. Renee used to meet me here or in the field up ahead every day after school. Oh, he's a teenager now. She's probably home from school by now. This is awesome. It's hot this summer. Foundations. This is pretty cool. We're back on the farm. Where are we, though? Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, we can spin, right? Uh, where are we? So, um... There we go. I usually meet Renee after school just up ahead. It's summer now, but I've been finishing up an extra class I need to graduate. Dad's working on that big project of his, too. Was I supposed to help him with that today? Guess I should probably check in with him, but Renee first. Way important. Way more important. Alright, where are you, Renee? Renee, wait up. Hey, Wit. Hey, Renee. Oh, uh, wait. I know that grin. What's going on? One of the two of us left their gate key behind last time we hung. Any guess who it was? Oh, no. Come on, Renee. Sorry if you want it. You're going to have to come get it. You're on. Over here. This is a little childish, don't you think? Renee, Renee. Where'd she go? There she is. Slowing down already? I don't make you run enough G's. Over here. I think I have side splits. Renee, come on. That girl, I swear. Give up, get her. Get her. Here I come. Got you. I told you I'd get you. Whatever. I let you catch me out of pity, you know. Wouldn't want you to feel bad. Sure, I totally buy that. Your concern for my self-esteem is touching. Ego, you meant to say. And it's all part of the service. So what now? Do I get my key back? What else you want to do? Silly, of course you get your key back. I can't stay too long, though. I've got a few. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I forgot. What? Wait. I'm so sorry. I have to go. Talk later. Hey, you dropped something. Yes, but not now. Oh, see, he's talking to a dad. Just want to make sure you keep track of everything that's going on right now. Because it's a lot. Remember, you have to. Oh, okay. These are her notes. Great. Uh, let's see. Do emergency band practice before the show. Finish up. What is that? Something for mom's parade. 
Pick up mom's medicine, deal with the endless tide of homework, help dad with crops, work mom's shift at the vegetable stand, hang out with wit, I guess. I know I feel like the weight of the world is on... I know it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, but I want you to know this. You're a champion. Nothing can stop you, and you can handle anything the world throws at you. I'm rooting for you, girl. Sincerely, Renee. Renee's writing a note to herself. I think that's what that is. Wow, I didn't realize she was so busy. No wonder she took off. What's this about medicine? Her mom is sick. She hasn't said anything about it. Let's see what we got. Carthage Public School District. Parents of say. Oop. This is probably Sage's report card. How much screaming this will cause? I don't know. You should probably, you should probably open it and like help your brother out. What the heck? Page 109? The check is in the mail. A brief look at the emergence of mail art and the essential question it begs. If anyone can send it, how you can still call it art? What? Ex Majesty. Abstract art that vanishing. Not sure what that means. And Scully. He goes by Scully. Something stuck to the back. Edwin. Urgent. Second attempt. Urgent attention. Dad told me to give this right to him as soon as I saw it. And this is my report card. I did okay last semester. That's it for today. Okay, we got some, what, conversations, maybe? Tell your mom what I said. Yes, ma'am. It'll be okay. Speak of the devil. Hey, mom, Renee, what's going on? Oh, not much. Just chatting with Renee about a few things. You know, girl talk. I'm not sure I know what that means. I think that's the idea, <laughs> dear. Renee, don't look at me. I'm not spilling the beans. All right, all right. Keep your secrets if you want. Could you do me a favor, Wit? Can see if you can talk some sense into these two? That's got to be close to a record even for them. You really think they're going to listen to me? Mom, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, I don't like to see any of my boys fighting is all. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm running late. Gotta run. Mrs. Ender. Thank you so much for the advice. Sorry I was so late. It's perfectly, it's perfectly all right, Renee. You take care. Sorry, I gotta run. Bye, Mrs. Renee. See you later. Seems like she's always on the move lately. She's poor girl. Wish she'd slow down just a bit. Yeah. Can't be away from each other for more than five minutes before turning wistful. Wait, what? No, Mom, that's not what I was thinking. Of course, if you say so, lovebird. Come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Besides, you know I'm fond of Renee. That reminds me. I let her borrow one of my retail catalogs last week. I noticed she circled a couple things. Oh yeah? Like what? There's an acoustic guitar she wanted in a sewing machine. For their price, I can't imagine either lasting long. But they're cheap and this is apparently what she wants. She's probably just being practical. She can be pretty hard on instruments. You know. I have to go into town and get what I need for dinner. And I know you've been wanting to get her something, so I could pick these things up if, well, if you'd like. I do have some allowance money saved up. Might be a nice thing for you to do. On the other hand, she can be a little peculiar and she seems so busy right now. Don't worry about it, get gifts. Sure, mom, I've got a little cash to throw at it. All right, I'll put it on a list. Sounds good. Is that the mail? Yep, I grabbed it on the way. Sage report card. Well, that's what I'd feared. Mom, has he talked about you about his bad grades? How bad his grades are? Not exactly his favorite topic. You know, he never did finish that term paper for Mrs. Bonham Ventures or that project for Miss Needle. Ouch. Yes, ouch. I'm not sure I should be telling you this. Your father and I are worried that he might not graduate again this year. Again this year. I didn't realize it was that bad. 
It's not too late for him to salvage things, but he's going to have to start focusing. I've talked to his teachers, and they're willing to let him make up all the work he skipped. That sounds like it'll take most of the summer. It might. Listen, Wit, I know your brother has his own passions, and I respect that. I really do. But if he doesn't pay attention to school, it could really mess up the rest of his life, no matter what. I'm guessing you want me to talk to him? If you don't mind, I think he'd listen to you more than us. Anyway, do what you can. Hmm. We got a letter from the bank. It's marked urgent. Oh, not good. What's that about? I don't know. It's addressed to you, Dad. Probably promoting a special loan rate. So that's why dad wanted me to bring it directly to him. Oh, dad's hiding it from mom. Gunner? He needs to pay, and that's that. Do you have to be so extreme? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Renee and her dad. Like, what if you... I don't understand why you're fighting me on this. Come on, there has to be another way. I'm not going to put up with this, and you know that. Are you sure it ha has to go this far? He needs to pay, and that's that. I need to know what's going on. I don't want to hear another word about it. Okay, Dad, okay. You'll understand someday. I already... Are you following me? Say something sweet, play it cool. I mean, I'd rather hang with you than anyone else. Oh god, you're such a dark. But a dark. Our dads are still fighting over the tractor thing. It's um a lot worse than I thought. Crap. No, actually my dad's thinking about a lawsuit, seriously. Great. Dad is going to freak. Has freaked. I really don't know what to do with it. My dad really does need his tractor working again. But this is extreme for him. Damn, she's really upset. I wonder if Dad will talk to me about this. I wonder if Gunner would. Let's change the subject, huh? You see that behind me? What do you think? What, your dad's hay laugh? No, goofball. The, trust me. I know how fond you are of the hay. Well, yeah, I mean, problem with cat got your tongue. Uh, I think the less say right now, the better off. Look at that, you're learning. Listen, I promise I'll try to find some time to hang out soon. I, okay, but I really do gotta run. Bye, goofball. How does she always manage to twist me up like that? This is a pretty cool way to go, like, do a trip down memory lane, you know? Like, these different conversations, like... See, this is white, so that means there's a conversation here somewhere. Mit M Michael? Mitchell? Michael. Hey, what's up, Mike? Are you kidding? I'm probably her roadie. Well, if it isn't you, it'll be me. You hear that? She's got a call after her gig and Dean? Some kind of talent scout? Really? She didn't tell me that. Rain it hasn't stopped moving long enough to talk to anybody lately. Well, I guess I don't feel so bad then. You worried she's keeping secrets? Worried isn't quite the right word. Don't sweat it, man. She's always been kind of a private person. There is some family stuff going on, but I can't really talk about it. That must be her brother? Not my story to tell, you know? Yeah, I get it. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, I gotta be Jet, but it's been good to catch up with you. Or maybe that's just her friend. How does Renee juggle all this stuff she's dealing with? Should I be worried if she's okay and if she wasn't okay? What'd she tell me? Renee's music. If you fall asleep at the ladder and I fall off, I promise you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I really need you to keep the ladder steady. I am. Are you remembering to use both hands? Yes, yes, I'm using both hands. Then why the hell is the damn thing shaking so much? Because there's only one of me, and this ladder is huge. Hey, Wit. Sage, you're waving. Sage, I need you to keep both hands on the damn ladder. Dad's gonna fall. Sorry, Dad. 
Do you need a hand? Absolutely, yes. Could you? No, son. We're doing just fine here. Besides, you're a bit late. Off with Gunner's girl. She has a name, Dad. Wait, your brother has gotten to wear everything I say. So, yes, I think it might be time for you to sub in. Son of a... Language boy, I'm getting real tired of your foul mouth. I'm out of here. Good luck with General Alduin Wit. Hey, hold on. Sage, you get back here right now. And hold up your progress. Why would I do that? Good for nothing, goddamn hippie. Dad. Stick up for Sage. Get Dad to ignore Sage. Don't worry about Sage, Dad. You two are just getting on each other's nerves because you've been at this a while. You and I can figure this out, right? You, you all right? Where did you find this abundance of free time? Did Renee finally break up with you? Come on, Dad. I'm just trying to help. Okay, son. I believe you. But I really do think we need all three of us. Any chance you might calm Sage down and get him to come back? I mean, I could try. Sure. I'll be back soon. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay. Burning daylight. Get on it. Okay. Alright, so... We got... What? What have we got? Conversation. Dump truck. What is this? It's a dump truck, obviously. Um, let's see. Oh, there he is. There he is. There is Sage. There is Sage. Surge? Sage? S I think it's... Sege? Sege? Sega, wait up. I'm gonna call him Sega. Sega! Sega was just in front of me. Now where the hell is he? Spike's here. Hey, wait. Check this. Sick jump. What? Sega, wait. A little more speed than over the fence. Oh, he took a shitter. That went about as well as I thought it would. It better laugh. <laughs> oh, man. You need something? Holy bajoli, that's smarts. Sorry, man. Dad wants you to come back and keep working the construction. What? No, I was working on that stuff all morning with him. I'm on me time. Come on, Sig. It'll go way faster all three of us pitch in. Well, tough. The old man. <laughs> oh, man. Why do I always end up in the middle of crap between you and Dad? I'll let you ponder that. When you figure it out, let me know. Hey, come back. See you. He can be a real jerk sometimes. Let him go. Try and catch up. Try and catch up. I better get him before he gets too far. This thing is pretty broken. The axle is sheared in half close to the left hub. Universal pin is broken and the joint is jammed between the rear differential and drive shaft. It needs some work that'll cost a pretty penny. Mainly just because the parts are expensive though. Like really expensive. So is that her father's tractor? Um, the girlfriend's father's tractor? All right, man, I'll, I'll take one. You know the drill. This isn't some way of... No, brother, not like last time, I promise. Greenest of the goop this time. Oh, he's getting some... Fire out, bring a little bro along. Do some magic with us? Definitely not. He's way too straight edge. Whatever, dude. Hey, man, I'm taking off. Gonna find some uh, gourds. Peace. Peace, keep it real. Wit, stop following me. Come on, man. Give me a break, will you? I'm the... What? I'm out of here. Bye. Will you just... Hey, uh... Why do I even head back to Dad? Keep looking for Sage. Hmm. Keep looking. If I come back without him, Dad's gonna rip my head off. <laughs> Wit! Okay, I can't go this way. What is all this? This is cool. This is a big, like, metal. He's, so he's into 
constructing like art with metal I think that's exactly what this is yeah I think that's exactly what that is this is a really good location for Renee's project honestly I'd leave it right here once it's finished but I know she needs to get it down downtown I rent oh she's making a big like blimp thing is that what she's making oh I thought it was like a, a big sculpture a big metal sculpture but it's just something she's making for the parade gunner hey mr. Berg hey wit fine thanks I just saw Renee but headed off to take care of something I guess Gunner, personally, I think she's asking for trouble. Oh, look at all the gear they've dropped off. It's going to be one heck of a mess, don't you think? It's a lot of stuff for sure. Look, Wit, I'm sorry about my outburst earlier. That was not meant for you, for your ears. That's okay. Well, I'm pretty busy here, so if there's nothing else. Mr. Berg, Renee told me what you're planning with the suit. Can we talk about that? I should have known she'd spill the beans, that girl. Listen, Wit, I don't want to do this, but I really need the money to fix the tractor. And I feel like Aldwin backed me into a corner on this. How so, sir? I was watching when Aldwin pulled away from the shed in the tractor. He practically floored it right from the get-go, like some joyriding teenager. No offense. None taken. I live with Siege. Anyway, I knew he was going to lose control if he was driving like that, so I started after him. Sure enough, I was right, and he crashed. He told me that his foot got stuck in the pedal, and that may be true, but if he hadn't been driving so fast to begin with, he would have had time to regain control. I see. I admit I lost my temper, accused him of hot rotting and whatnot. Things got heated. I demanded that he pay the damages, and he told me that what that's what insurance is for, what, and stormed off. I mean, technically, he's not wrong, except the tractor isn't insured. Those premiums are hellacious until, unless you're a big corporate. And it doesn't matter anyway. It's a matter of integrity. Your dad is responsible for the wreck, son. I don't mean any insult saying that. It's just how things are. He needs to own up and pay. Bottom line is, I can't be without that tractor. It's like the key to my livelihood. If I can't get my crops to market, I can't keep food on the table. And it's getting a bit old to work the fields by hand. I don't want any more conflict, believe me, but I don't really have a choice. Yes, sir, I understand. Ask Gunner what he's up to. Let Gunner alone. Sorry to bother you. It's all right, Wit. I can understand your curiosity. I'll see you later. Bye, Mr. Berg. Okay. So, that is... Do you need something, son? Nothing, sir. Just seeing what you're doing. Okay working looks like it okay leave him alone is this Nora mr. Berg how are you mrs. Berg right I've been better I thought I I suppose been worse too oh sorry to hear that what do uh is something wrong are you all right it's just my head it'll pass you know something's wrong what do you think about this float? Be honest. Oh, I think it's fine. I mean, it's not really finished. Do you not like it? Oh, I, I know I, I really I know Renee is trying her best and I do appreciate it. But how am I supposed to take this in front of the board and say with a straight face that this is how we get our message across to the community? I'm pretty sure we'll it'll look better when it's done. I've seen the sketches with but that's another thing. This should be much further along than it is by now. And Renee should have gone over all this with me, but she just went with the first idea that sounded good and plowed ahead. That is that girl is a little strange. She doesn't have she doesn't want me to have to worry about it. I've needed her help lately with a lot of things. Oh why? Nothing you need to worry yourself about. But she already has a very full life, you know? And with all 
that added on. It's just too much, and she's taking it all on herself. No, I couldn't, but I think I have to. Mrs. Berg? Wait, you like art, right? You and your brother do a lot? I think Sage is the real expert, but I like it too, yeah. Do you think you might, I don't know, give her some feedback maybe or help out on part of the project? I don't want her to run herself ragged over this thing. Ma'am, I mean no, no disrespect. Have you met? <laughs> Have you ever tried to tell her what to do? I'm her mother, Wit. It's probably a different experience for me than for you. I just don't want her to hurt her feelings. So the thing is, I'm very worried about her. Why? Why? The weight of the world is on her shoulders. She helps me. She helps Gunner. She has her van. She has school. A person can only take so much, and then the cracks start to show. Did you know she missed band practice this past week for the first time? I didn't. That's really strange for her. And she won't ask anyone for a iota of help. She needs to learn. To, she has limits. I know it's awkward to ask you to intervene, but I, I'm not sure who else to ask. I understand. Sure, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Wit. But please don't tell her I talked with you, Wit. All right? I won't. All right, so we're in the middle of two things now. Three things. I don't even know. Renee does kind of seem like she's all over the place. She must be really stressed out. But if she hasn't asked for help, it means she doesn't want any. Sage wanted to help with the floats, and she... What? On the other hand, Sage wanted to put go dancers <laughs> anyway if I try to push she's probably going to get mad at me but it might be worth it to make her mad if it'll get her to stop and think about what she's doing I'm just not sure guess I'll figure it out when I talk to her all right this is uh this is intense it's a lot of reading it wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't reading out loud for the video. Obviously, if I was reading to myself, it'd be a lot different. My mouth is super dry right now. We've been going for about an hour. And I think this is uh, a good place to wrap up. I'm hoping I can save. Okay, I can. Good. All right, so we saved, and we're definitely going to continue on. But I think this is this is a good place to wrap up this first uh, first look episode. So that's where I'm going to end my gameplay first look at where the heart leads here on PlayStation 5. I do appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So just to let you know, I was provided with a game key. Thanks to Eric and team over at Stride PR on behalf of the developer and publisher. This game is awesome. It is so well written. I, I mean, the dialogue is spot on. It's realistic. It's not. I, I like how they're doing the different scenarios and different different conversations. And it's like, I don't know, it makes you kind of feel like you're there. Um, it's it's just exceptional writing. I'm, I'm super into it. I mean, the art style is like super unique and different and and. Uh, can just see everything real good and and you kind of you just you feel like you're in the moment you feel like you're you're almost uh i don't know maybe living the character you know living as this character it's it's really strange uh but they're doing a great job with it i can't wait to play more but i think we'll wrap it up there um gets two thumbs up from me pick it up so yeah we'll wrap it up there i do appreciate you watching we'll see you next time